Welcome to the Hustle Wing Podcast. Hustle Wing is the leading marketplace for side gigs. Today, I'd like to welcome Jonathan Chen, founder and CEO of Nitra. Jonathan, thanks so much for being here with me today. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Perry, for having me. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. Let's jump right in. What is Nitra? So Nitra is an all-in-one finance platform built for the healthcare um, industry, specifically doctors, uh, healthcare practitioners, physicians, and et cetera. And do you, you, is there like, I know that there's health systems that are kind of like, sometimes they're an individual singular health system. And sometimes there's like a health system that's got many satellite campuses. Do you help all kinds of health systems or are you just one vertical of that? The, uh, the goal is to help um, all across the healthcare industry. Um, right now we're, we are focused on more on the, uh, the smaller practices um, and medium sized practices. Um, with plans uh, in the future to expand further. Very cool. Okay. So with that, can we jump into a one sentence elevator pitch of what Nitra is? Yeah. So Nitra, um, we're building a finance platform. You can think of uh, payments, insurance, credit cards, banking, um, all those uh, type of workflows um, and really cater catering and customizing the experience towards the healthcare professional. Um, right now, tools are very, I would say, general in the space. When you think of financial services, it, they, they cater towards all industries, but there's a lot of nuances in the healthcare space that we um, uh, really focus on and make, um, making sure the experience is uh, right on par with for, for the healthcare space. This is super cool. So my other half's uh, parent, uh, father is a um, orthopedic surgeon. And so when I think of what you guys offer, they sound like that pra his practice would be a good fit because it sounds like you guys are pretty full service. You make the accounting and some of the things that are really time consuming. If you have a high billable rate, really, obviously they have admins to help, but you make that accounting, the whole process of it, it sounds like a heck of a lot easier for people that are really busy in this field. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Like um, the, the idea is that, you know, doctors, um, they really aren't business folks. They went to, you know, they didn't go to business school, right? They went to uh, medical school. They they're here to treat patients, and the idea of running your own practice or be or being plopped into like an organization that is technically a business um, and figuring out how to do the accounting, the finances, um, all the the billables, all that stuff is very daunting. So for for us, like we want to kind of take that uh, stress um, and all those things that they shouldn't be thinking about and just. Um, making sure that uh, we can cater to or build a software that cater towards uh, these experiences. Yeah, it's funny that um, I think what you guys are doing is, is extremely valuable. And I'm just thinking back to when I walked through his office, all of the medical practitioners there, all of the partners in his, um, his surgery practice, if you will, I remember all of their desks being absolute disasters, right? But you would go into the surgery <laughs> room and you know everything's completely sterile, beautiful, clean. Everything's exactly where it should be, as it should be. Then you would go into their office, and there would be papers and clutter everywhere. And I'm just like, that's where you guys <laughs> really like fit in and help them uh, keep really important um, this really important information structured in a way that's easy and and uh, um, like you said, makes it really easy for them to to use and manage and track. So. What, you know, our, our listener base, the audience that's going to be listening to this, a lot of them are contract workers, side hustlers, mm -hmm. and there might be some people that have healthcare experience. There might be some product managers, some sales people, some, you know, all kinds of professional backgrounds. And so my next question is, what is Nitra currently working on where, um, you know, where some of our side hustlers might plug in and be a good fit? What projects, what initiatives do you guys have it going on where you could leverage some potential contract help from us? Yeah, um, uh, for us, like, I think, you know, we, uh, my background is in software. So um, I pretty much got the software down. I think where I would love more assistance in, in is really, uh, I think most people know this, the healthcare industry is just very, uh, uh, really hard to break into. Uh, in general, I think it's much harder to approach a doctor and, um, you know, try to sell them something um, than uh, particularly other industries because they're basically on their feet 12 hours a day not near a computer, not near their phone or anything. Um, and then when, when they go home, it's, you know, they just want to rest, uh, hang out with the family and whatnot. Um, so for us, I think uh, help in the, uh, I guess, the sales side and reaching out to 
to doctor communities and um, breaking um, into those communities or uh, potential partnerships with other healthcare companies that um, have a wider range or wider reach of, uh, of clientele in the healthcare space. Like a- any of those um, uh, opportunities will be uh, definitely something that you know we're looking for, and we definitely have. Of like rev share opportunities and and really really large commission um, opportunities. Like for example, one of our products, which is the uh, the Nitro Card, um, which is a, a credit card spend management platform um, for the for the doctors. We're offering a thousand dollars for anyone um, who's able to uh, refer us any any one um, clinic or practice. Um, just flat one thousand um, dollars. And then we're launching more products and we'll have more opportunities um, uh, or a commission on those products as well. Very cool. So it sounds like there's opportunity for definitely salespeople, perhaps some people that are in the partnerships world that have relationships in healthcare that can kind of help segue the conversation for some of these smaller practitioners to get a better management of their, you know, their financial spend, their uh, maybe their P and L as a whole. And you know, there's a commission opportunity for 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 Nitro to kind of work with those folks within a within our base. And I know we have a lot of those, but, but am I right on that? Yeah, that's, that, that's uh, correct. Cool. So yeah, that, that's exciting. And I'm sure that we'll have a base of people that are um, really thrilled to hear about that and that have experience in the healthcare world. And with that, I want to talk about the last, the last thing, which is how did you end up here? You mentioned that you're a software engineer by trade, but how did you enter down this pathway of healthcare? What led you here? Uh, yeah, that's it's it's uh, kind of a long story, but I'll try to condense uh, condense it here. Uh, so, um, real quick uh, on my background. Um, so this is actually Nitro is actually my second company, um, my second venture backed company. My first company uh, is called Fiscal Notes. Um, Fiscal Notes uh, um, also in, a, in an industry that is um, very resistant to technology, um, uh, the gov the government tech industry. Um, also much harder to break into as well. And uh, I worked on that company um, for about 10 years or so. Um, and uh, I was the CTO. I built the product. And basically the product, um, what we did was we um, uh, built a software that allowed small businesses um, in general to understand what's going on in the government. So government impact by um, presenting them and presenting them a uh, data set of all the government legislation regulations that's happening in their industry and analytics over uh, over that data. So I worked in that for about ten years or so, um, and eventually we IPO the company on the New York Stock Exchange for over a billion dollars. Um, and the reason why I came to healthcare, honestly, uh, two years ago, um, uh, I went to see. Uh, so I have really bad uh, eczema. Um, so I went to see, a, I tried to see a specialist, a dermatologist, uh, but I noticed, uh, it was just very, very difficult to, um, book an appointment. Like it feel me difficult. Like it, it was always like weeks out and I'm sure for anyone who's listening every, anytime you want to book like an appointment with a specialist in the United States, it's annoyingly difficult. Um, and <laughs> I don't, I don't know why, uh, maybe it's just, I don't know, our healthcare system or something. Um, and you know, by the time you booked the appointment, you you kind of already suffered and you know bypassed the or you know it, you you you're basically healed, right? So I actually noticed this a couple of times, and I talked to other folks, and it seems to be the same um, kind of theme. And as I you know dove into the healthcare space, and you know as I get older, um, I'm getting over in my thirties, right? I'm seeing the doctor a little bit more. Um, something I didn't really or I took for granted like ten years ago in my early twenties, um, which I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, health has become more and more of a uh, uh, important thing in my life, and as my my parents get older and everything, I'm starting to realize how important you know our healthcare system um, is, and and how inefficient um, uh, it has or it is currently. So I think you know after working my first company, um, uh, I really want to you know work on something else and find you know some place to really take my my skills in the technology. Um, field and, and try to really help out as many, um, I guess, people in general by um, making the healthcare system or help building software for the healthcare system um, to help them, the doctors, make things more efficient. And this will also translate over to how they you know, manage the practice 
and it'll translate over to um, the patient side. And what I noticed is also there is a huge uh, transition that's going on in the healthcare space. I think in the, this decade, you know, there's a lot of startups focused on making a more efficient um, healthcare ecosystem. Um, uh, we've noticed a huge rise in um, the digitalization of healthcare. A lot of millennials are actually coming in um, to the healthcare system. They're, you know, they're graduating, you know, the medical school. They're all in their 30s and 40s right now. So they're coming in. They're more technology forward um, and wanting to, you know, bring more solutions in. So I think we're going to see a huge transformation um, in healthcare in the next 10 years, uh, or definitely this decade. And I want to be a part of that. And I think, you know, for us, we're focused on the financial aspect of it. Um, and, you know, Nitro, uh, just to let you guys know, we, you know, we, um, we, we raised a crap ton of money to make this happen. We raised about $62 million from Andreessen Horowitz, NEA, um, Jerry Yang's firm, um, and a bunch of other really amazing investors. So really the focus is in you know, the next 10, 20 years, um, which is what I want to spend my, you know, next 20 years on is really help um, improve the healthcare industry as much as possible. Wow. Um, there's a lot in that that I resonate with, and I see very much the same thing. So my brother is actually staying with me this week. He has early onset dementia, and he's only in his 50s. And the healthcare system has largely kind of failed him with brain scans and um, mm -hmm. hyperbaric oxygen and this and that and all these things. And it's like there's still no answer on why. Uh, and then it's like I jump in and it's like there's these functional medicine practices that have all kinds of answers and things, but they're smaller practices. Mm -hmm. And, you know, outside of the big health system, um, you know, and then kind of following the traditional pathway, it's like there are, there is so much disruption that's coming. It's really obvious to me, like that there's these smaller fields. You have holistic medicine, functional, new, you know, functional health care, all kinds of stuff. And so what you guys are doing is clearly very relevant and exciting at the same time. and pretty cool. I mean, to be able to help someone who's like in my situation, there's no reason that a 50 year old should have Alzheimer's. Like there's just no reason. There's no reason you should have to wait until your eczema is, you know, seriously bad in order to get that appointment booked. So I'm grateful for what you guys are doing. We're excited to see what, uh, what Nitra has got coming in the future. And it sounds like you guys have a serious in backed investment base and you have some serious, uh, experience exiting at a billion dollar IPO on the stock exchange is pretty cool. Um, and so this is a fantastic opportunity for anyone listening to figure out how you can work with Nitra, figure out how you can support them. If you know people in the healthcare world, um, really, really exciting. But with that, let's close by letting our listeners know where can they find Jonathan Chen? Where can they connect with you and where can they find Nitra? Yeah, our, our website is just nitra.com, um, N-I-T-R-A.com. Um, and, you know, my name is Jonathan Chen. Uh, my email is just simply Jonathan at Nitra. It's Jonathan without the, the H. So it's just J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N at Nitra.com. Um, and you can find me on LinkedIn as well. I'm actually pretty vocal on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, it's just Jonathan Chen. Uh, you'll see Nitra on there. Um, and really looking forward to hearing from, you know, anyone who's interested in working uh, together here. Awesome. Jonathan, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Yeah. Thanks, Perry, for having me.